we're back. Break room blitz. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. I'm my boy Conch here. Now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a recap of the summer movies. Good, bad, ugly, honorable mentions as well. But we just kind of want to do a recap here. Yeah. So, can we start off with our Civil War? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can totally Ching start off with Civil War. Yeah. Definitely number one on the list. Yeah, yes, man. sir. Probably up there at the top, or, or as number one, pretty much, of the whole summer. Yeah, man. Marvel came out, like, strong with that movie, man. Oh, yeah. They did. I love the movie. Yeah. The ending to the trilogy of Captain America. I loved it. You know, they gave us a lot of, like, I mean, when you're talking about the summer movies, that really stands out. You know, superhero, big budget movie. And it's they very did anticipated it right. as well. They did oh, yeah, it right, definitely. you know. You know, at the beginning of the year, you know, they gave us Deadpool, and then we also had, you know, Batman Dom Justice, honorable mention, you know, kind of like, man. Now, what'd you rate it? Civil War, you know, I, I you know, initially I gave it an a 8 out of 10, but after watching it the second time around, I really saw a lot of things that I appreciate about it, so I had to give it like 9 out of 10. 9, what'd you give it? I gave it a 9 out of, oh, I give it, I remember giving it a 10 out the door. Yeah. I was like, 10! And then you were like... <laughs> So it's a perfect movie. I'm like, it wasn't perfect. <laughs> it was great. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. So it's still I'm sticking with my nine, nine point five actually. 9. Have you seen 5. it since? Oh yeah, I, yeah. I've seen it a few times. Yeah, I've seen it. I like seeing uh, the uh, all the extra. I don't know, man. Probably about eighteen times. You see it eighteen? I am times. not kidding you. <laughs> I know about that. I, I see. I'm really big. Uh, so here's a little backflash. I uh, sometimes I if I'm cleaning or cooking. I'll just put something on in the background so I can I can turn back and watch it and watch the cool scenes and be like, oh yeah, there's Spider-Man again! Right. So I'll do stuff like that. So I, I've, I've at least vividly had it going at least 18 times. <laughs> wow. Damn. You ruined the movie for yourself. Yeah. Oh no, man. Every time I turn on the movie, it's like I'm watching it for the first time again. I saw it three mm -hmm. times. I wanted to really make sure my review or my rating was accurate. I'm going to be like you. I'm going to give it a nine mm -hmm. because it was a pretty, it was a solid movie. It was solid. It, yeah. I wasn't like super excited out of the theater, as you guys probably already know. Yeah. But I felt exactly the same. I it, right. I enjoyed it just as much. So I felt like it was a really solid, well wrote movie. Again, I would have liked a little more conflict, a little mm -hmm. more war. Yeah. A better but, enemy. Way better enemy. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love your Black Panther. Oh, I awesome. love Black Panther. Dude, that that can't wait for the single. That movie. debut, oh, his debut was awesome. I oh, yeah. loved it. Yeah. Best way to bring him in. I can't wait for a single movie. I'm looking forward to that completely. <gasps> Definitely. It's going to be amazing. All right. What we got um, next? Independence Day. Ooh. So, I mean, like, how, how many years was it after Whoa. the first one? It was like the big what? 1990, right? I mean, I, I had such high hopes for the movie. And then it just, like, was like... <laughs> Will Smith wasn't in it. Oh, yeah, he crashed. The best part that we had. Oh, yeah, he crashed. He died. Yeah. And then we're going to kill the most important character irrelevant. He's going to be worth nothing. He's going to give the yeah. best speech again. Yeah. And then we're going to kill him. And then we're going to cop out by making the most awesome alien race locusts who follow a queen. <laughs> oh, my God. Very original. <laughs> I'm over it. Move to the next one. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have to agree. They, it, just, it was very mediocre. It wasn't. Independence Day ish. No, yeah. Independence Day, the first one was iconic. Yeah, mm -hmm. like they were doing things huge. no one else was doing. It's a concept, but no one else had done it. Yeah. So, like, at least as far as I know, um, it was it was iconic. It was like the bar. Yeah. And then they came with this one. I'm like, that's below the bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is one of those movies yeah. you shouldn't have done a double feature for because we Definitely. saw the first one no. and then we went into this one and we're like, oh man. And I remember saying in the theater when we were watching the first one. This is why you come to the theater to watch these movies in the theater. Oh yeah. And then we walked in the other one. I'm like, this is why you don't come to the theater. Because <laughs> <laughs> we saw the uh, first one in the theater yeah. right before that one. It's just, and that was a bad idea. I think it maybe was we just killed it for ourselves. Yeah, no, like I, I totally believe that because I'm, I'm sitting there like, that was such great. Let's watch the next one. <laughs> Yeah. Crap. And I remember when the first Independence Day came out, that was the movie I would see every year oh, after yeah. that on Independence Day. I still do. It was such a huge hit back then. But, yeah. Uh, it was awesome. Yeah, so that was a flop. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no I would have to agree. <laughs> yeah. Okay. X-Men. Woo! Ka-ching! Ka-ching! That's X, awesome. right? Berserker Great! Yeah. Yes. Like, yes. That was my shit. That oh. was like the fucking X-Men. <laughs> That, that, that's a Wolverine I've always wanted oh, out yeah. of an X-Men movie. Uh -huh. Like, the movie, it was doing solid. We got awesome Quicksilver. We got, you know, uh, Nightcrawler, yep. Angel. Bam. We got some awesome characters going on, you know? And then, like, when that happened, I lost my mind. I was yeah. like, 
You know, it gave me something yeah, like that Civil War didn't give me. You know, that like took it over the top. It was action from beginning to end, but yeah. his part. Just kind of took it over the top. It was I like, loved okay. it. I loved it. That's what I've been craving. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it was a total, it was an over the top nerdgasm. Just straight up like, oh my god, it's it, they're doing it! I felt like, like that in the theater. <laughs> I was just like, this movie's so good. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> it's the only version of X-Men that I've ever liked Cyclops. Oh, Cyclops yes. has always been just, yes. like, uh, ah, I can't think of a word that I can say on camera. Yeah. But he's always been <laughs> You're he's a jerk. Weak. Boy Scout. He's, been, he's a been a Boy Scout. Scout. Thank Boy you. Scout. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. I have a dirty mouth sometimes, yeah. and I can't find the words <laughs> that's appropriate. Yeah. I knew where you were going. <laughs> but right. He's no, always been a BITCH to me. <laughs> so, but this one, he was actually cool. But you know, there was a lot of controversy. A lot of people did not like that. He, was, uh, he wasn't the Boy Scout. They're like, oh, he's, he's some was... cool guy for some reason. I'm like, yeah. Finally! Yeah, like, that's what he's no, supposed definitely. to be. He has to be and the well, captain the of the team, you know? It got a positive response when they built that, because the character is similar to him, and the universe is, uh, they did the uh, the Dark Phoenix, the you know, X-Men versus Avengers type of thing, and they gave, made Cyclops more attitude, and they put that they in They did! Movie. He's like, you want to yeah. step on my turf? Yeah, let's go, boy. Like, yeah. And I was just thinking, <laughs> okay, that's the Boy Scout. I guess more or less we're almost getting a mixture between the Boy Scout and the Soldier, kind of. Yeah. And but even for like, me, yeah. just in the cinematic uh, universe... He, you needed a reason why he became the Boy Scout. Right. So, he, yes, he was a young punk, like, oh, I just, I'm too cool for school. But his brother was really the catalyst to make him want to shape exactly. up and be that leader. So he made so much sense yeah. to me. To me, a lot of people said it, it, you know, they didn't really connect a lot of dots. But to me, if you really look at the, if you really pay attention to the details, yeah. Yeah. they connect a lot of dots. Oh, totally. I'm like, oh, this is why he's a goddamn Boy Scout. They rebooted it properly is what right. they did. Yeah. Like, and they ended it properly. In their character. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it didn't end. They're, they're, they're still be, going. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Although, one, I'm but, tossing it out there. Yeah. I, I hear that you want to bring back the original cast again. Ditch Holly Berry, please, or just don't do it. Oh, Oh, excuse me. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> Holly like, Berry. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Lord, that's coming straight from I'd me. I'd like to see her on screen. I don't yeah. speak to everybody on this one, but yeah, I prefer the new Storm completely. I, You know, I appreciated the new Storm. I, I don't think they should awesome. bring, her, bring back the original cast. Yeah. I think you if it's going to be... great right with the time, Days Futures Past, leave yeah. it there. I want them to kind of go back to my 90s cartoon. Yeah, X-Men. I mean, they gave us an 80s one, right? This right. was all taking yeah. place in the 80s. Oh, yeah. So now let's let's bump them up. Let's give them 10 more years on mm-hmm. them. Let's, let's move them, you know, closer I want to, to the Jubilee. 90s. Yeah. Jubilee, yeah. dude. Yeah, and this actually starts a huge that different timeline. Jacket. Because in the other timeline, Phoenix was trapped. And now this timeline, Professor X set her free. Yeah. So that's the, the, there's so many different elements they could bring within the next movie. You do not have, do not have to bring back the old cast. Okay, we gotta move on. Yes. Warcraft. Woo! The you know, visually sexy movie. Another controversial here. movie. Vis- visually, I mean, it it, it tricked it, 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 like it, like my eyes were like it was all over the place. Man. It was just like eye candy everywhere. It was oh, awesome. Yeah. It was the shit. The whole <laughs> movie, not just visuals. I know where you're going. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, however. <laughs> You know, wa- walking out of the movie, when the movie actually ended, I was still sitting down and I was like, really? That was it? Yeah. What? I guess. I loved every bit of it. There was uh, great elements of that movie. Like, you had your villains, you had... You, it killed me. It didn't kill me. I, they took lefts when I expected them to, to make rights, which I enjoyed. The random event cards were awesome. Yep. Uh, visually, this movie was stupid. Great. Like, great. I mean, I feel like the only way... I can't watch this movie at home... On my little dinky TV, it, it doesn't do it, it justice. It just doesn't work. They made up for all of the bad movies that were made from video games. Every I video agree. game movie oh, yeah. that yeah. came out, yeah, I agree with It that. redeemed himself with oh, that yeah. movie right there. Yeah. I feel like that should be the bar the going bar. forward. Right. Um, I like they had friendship. They have yeah. a, a really good hero to villain con- Definitely. complex. Definitely. Um, I like they did stuff that was you know out of the norm. Was it perfect? No, but I still really enjoyed it. I definitely did too. I really enjoyed it, and I definitely will give it a rewatch just because it's just, it's a fun movie to watch. Mm-hmm. What are you going to rate it? If I had to rate it though, mm, I'm going to be harsh. I'll give it like a, you know, I, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Hmm, I'm going to probably give it an 8.5. I have not watched it because I want to feel the exact same way I watched it the first time. I need it on <laughs> Blu-ray. I, 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 I need to watch it on Blu-ray. On Blu-ray, like, I, got a, I got a 65 inch screen, I cannot wait. I'm definitely gonna rewatch this again and then just immerse myself again. Now, a lot of people said they didn't like because they didn't know who who the people were, but I feel like you didn't know who the people were in in Lord uh, of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. yeah, 
You had to rewatch it and rewatch it and it's learn. Like, what was his name? Le- 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 Legos or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. He was blonde and perfect. <laughs> right. So I feel like you need to give it that same chance. Give it that same yeah. shot and yeah. learn the people. I actually yeah. watched it last week. So it's still getting my... I think I gave it an 8.5 before. So okay. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to go with you with the 8.5. Yeah. I didn't like how the, the, the wizard had to keep one. dipping into the pond. Yeah. But... I kind of killed And me. I didn't like the golem. The king. I don't like the king. I didn't like the king. I thought you were going to say the king, so I kind of stopped you there. <laughs> <laughs> the golem. The whole movie's the shit. Be the king. Yeah, that clay golem. That was kind the of like, Golem was kind of weird. Whack. That was yeah. pretty whack. Yeah. But other than that, I really liked it. Whatever Blizzard's doing right now, if they're trying to get into the movie scene, I'm all for it. I highly encourage them to do it. Awesome. Definitely. Definitely. Keep going, guys. All right. So, let's see. Any, mini money. Star Trek. Woo! I liked it. I was a fan of it. I know you said you brought up with the whole Independence Day Locust yeah. thing. However, um, visually, it was a fun movie. It was a fun movie. And, yeah. and, it, and it kind of, like, you know... You know, added to the characters that we were still like it stayed yeah. consistent to like the development of characters that we got from the first second and third one was it my favorite Star Trek movie no nah I really liked the first one but my favorite one I think I would say it's the second one. Oh yeah you know I think that the, the Star Trek series I'm sorry it's just kind of a mediocre series it's not a lot of depth uh, as far as like I really like it. character development <laughs> storyline it's just like this is where they are this is what happened and that's it <laughs> but like if you, i mean if you compare it to like any other like real big series it has the least amount of development out of all of them you got star wars way deeper than star trek i i don't know i, I just think, feel like it's kind of mediocre well, uh, disney someone... didn't buy them <laughs> <laughs> oh. exactly it's the reason why i didn't uh, buy them well, you know, I will say this for, oh, yeah, for the like... Star Wars universe. Uh, sorry, sorry, Star Trek. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna murder me for that. <laughs> um, is uh, the beautiful thing I do like about this series, this this trilogy that they put out, was they literally told them because originally they wanted to kind of do something that was more matching with the timeline that the original show was on. Yeah. And what they did was they told them, okay, look, you know what? You don't get to do that. You get to do from this time to this time frame. Hope you're clever enough to figure it out. And honestly. To reestablish the universe at its core in the beginning with the original cat, I thought it was brilliant. But that's the only thing that actually grasps people. That's oh the, no, the other thing because you get the history, so you done. get more of depth <laughs> into the character. Without that, they would if they would have started exactly where they started from with the original. Who we already seen it. I get that, but I, I still enjoyed that the, the fact that they did this. They 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 almost basically made an original concept based upon yeah futuristic characters. Sure, but I the like other that. thing too is I really enjoy. The way that you, their universe was established. If you were to watch a Star Wars movie and a Star Trek movie in parallel, mm-hmm. you can tell the different types of space, uh, and that's one yeah. thing I like: the vibrance, the, the way they established, the, the, just the setting overall. Yeah. So there's things, elements that I love from the. Yeah, they, they really played upon a time and space element oh, yeah. too, because it was just like, okay, <clears throat> like we, I know we're always talking about the time paradox in Interstellar and like how that all Ooh. correlates, Ooh, and, or not correlate, or not, <laughs> and, and the same thing in like Terminator and like, okay, you can't kill yourself because you'll never exist and you, it right. never catches up right. or whatever but like they did like another play on this time paradox where it's like you know you take somebody out of this time period and they stay relevant to like the existing timeline which is a little different so time and space space travel you know right, what you, it? Uh, you know I, I enjoyed it uh, I have to give it mm, 8 out of 10 though mm. yeah I really liked it Originality, yeah. It was it was good. I enjoyed it. Still like the other ones better. You gave me that stupid do, locust yeah. crap again. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Six. Yep. Six. Ooh. I wow. think that's higher than my five. I think I gave it a five before. It's definitely lower than what you were describing it. <laughs> I was gonna thought you were gonna say something a little well, higher. No, this movie particularly, like the other movies, they uh-huh. get the higher rating. This movie, I'm sorry, but that alien locust crap. Cut it out! Yeah. Hive mind. I agree. Oh, what we're gonna do? Uh, hive mind. It's hive mind. Yeah. yeah it's a hive. You take one out, and they all go down. It's like, <laughs> we gotta get the queen. Wait, like, wait, oh, no. We'll shit. just put some right, really like, cool music to it. No. Right. Yeah. Uh, how are we gonna wrap this up? Uh, hive mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't got enough time for all that. So yeah. hive mind. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll use a virus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna go with you with the... I'm gonna go 6.5. I would watch it again... Probably like 10 years from now, so I forget what happened, and I'm just like, okay, let's just see what happens this time. 
<laughs> um, not anytime soon though, because I already know what happened. And again, I don't. I also don't like your um, hive mind thing. I don't like it. Yeah. Um, and it's me. It's just me and yogurt. Yeah. 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 It's a cop out. I think the only good thing that came out of that movie was that new alien race. That I, for, I forgot a name, but the, that one alien chick. Oh yeah. With I the, liked her a lot. I liked the, yeah. her dynamic with the characters. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. That was pretty good. cool. Nah, good. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What we got next? Uh ooh. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? I don't have glasses. Oh, yeah, my glasses. I can't do that. I can't hear you. That was a very controversial movie. Yeah. Just because everyone wanted... Because, first of all, it was all women cast. All women cast, yeah. They didn't do bad. They did a gender bender cast of Ghostbusters. And they didn't have the original in there. It was a straight up reboot. It was a reboot? The old ones didn't happen. Huge That was very. So, huge fuck. Very controversial. Tell us the truth, though. Right. Tell us how you really feel. Let me tell you how it really feel. When you have to go and change the title of your movie just to release the Blu ray or whatever movie it is, because. They changed the title from Ghostbusters, uh, Ghostbusters to Ghostbusters Answer the Call when it came out on DVD or Blu-ray. Oh, really? Wow. They did that. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. So I wouldn't know because I'm not going to buy the, the that? Blu-ray. But, huh, right. Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what did, did they, is there any other reason why they did that? They, they didn't want you to buy the one that you hated in theaters. <laughs> So it's like, hmm, Ghostbusters has a call. I don't remember seeing this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Must be new. <laughs> Must be new. <laughs> like, what Maybe this one's it? better. <laughs> was it one of those? You know what? I DVDs didn't or? dislike it. I actually kind of enjoyed it until the very end. I thought the villain was just very mediocre once we actually got to face him. Right. But leading up to, I thought he was pretty cool. But he got he got real mediocre at the end. It felt like a rushed in. Yeah. Um, but the girl. Oh, and I also didn't like the male bashing. The the guy was just the dumbest person oh, yeah. ever on screen. <laughs> he was silly. He was, he was the dumbest guy I've ever seen on TV. He was a bimbo. They got his back. I guess. To, to oh, the back totally. Like, yeah. They got his back. It's like, but it was a little over the top for me. Um, yeah. But I actually. I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it to a certain point. Yeah, like you said, like it was like real bad male bashing, but it was wholesome. It's silly. It's all oh, wholesome yeah. for me. I love that woman. Yeah, oh my god, I love the it. engineer putting together all. Yeah, the and she was. She was. Cool. There was moments in that movie where I'm looking at her and she's like in her nerdy galore oddness. I'm like, she's actually pretty. Interesting. She's cute. <laughs> my, into yeah. this right now. I thought like she broke character a few times. Um, so it she kind of killed her whole persona for me. Mm. I didn't like the, uh, the editing in the movie though. Yeah, a lot. stuff just coming out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I, lo- I like I the tributes. The story wasn't horrible. The villains weren't all that great. Visuals were great. Colors were great. I loved all four women as the Ghostbusters. I loved the tributes overall. It's not a visuals was exactly the same <laughs> as the original. They look exactly the same. Yeah. So my rating. I actually watched the movie again last week. Just <sighs> just for gigs i sat oh, down and watched it and you know i it's something i can watch and just enjoy it wasn't horrible like so i i'm going up for my original rating i'm actually putting it up to a 7.5 wow i'm gonna go with the seven as well i think it was more for the newer generation yeah. it wasn't for us or mm-hmm. anyone older who grew up on the original ones it right. was just for the reboot new generation here's ghostbusters eat what i feed you mm-hmm. Bam. i think they should go ahead and just Watch the old ones. You want you want you want Ghostbusters? Yeah. Watch these old ones. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, right, right. But that's just me. But I'm gonna go with the seven um, as well. I'm gonna go with seven. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I give it another watch too. And like after a while, I just it lost my attention. I was just doing stuff in the background. Um, so I mean, like really, uh, uh, I could appreciate what they were doing there. They had an idea, and yeah. it just they fell tried. flat. Yeah. If I had to give it a rating, it, it's going to be like a 5 out of 10. Mm. It's understandable. It's really hard. Like There's Average. a lot of negative aura going around it. And when they lost so many other things contributing to it, right. it's almost like the previous actors had to be in the movie in order to give it the amp up for people to respect it or want to respect it. Yeah. So it really sucks because it got a lot of bad negativity beforehand. But moving on. Yeah. So what about BFG? Ooh. So that set the bar in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you took I'm the bar, you thought the last one was bad. <laughs> if you took the bar and you put like a ten up here and a one at the bottom, well, this one kind of just like flipped it. And it was just like, yeah. yeah, it was like it was pretty bad. It was the worst movie I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Honestly, 
It yeah. was the plot sucked, the characters sucked. It was frustrating. <laughs> the it best part annoying. about the movie was the trailer. Yeah, the, they showed us the best uh, in the trailer. I liked the cleverness of the Clever. the, the, the character, the uh, the giant himself. I love the world, his little room, like his room, the concept, and him. I liked everything. I else, get you on that. Yeah. I didn't like. Yeah, I wasn't feeling okay. That. His room. Well, that we were only I, in maybe like fifteen minutes. But, no, we were in there quite a bit, and the way he cut dreams and how he mixed them. There's elements of that movie which were, they did right, but everything else surrounding it, supporting you, if you, you can have a strong spine, but the rest of it around it, surrounding it sucks, it, it's still gonna break. The spine was even a little wobbly. Yeah, like I really, like I had I had more hopes of that movie turning out to be a good movie while I was watching it than it being a good movie. Period. Because like as much as I yeah. wanted it to be a good movie, I wanted to walk out more than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like, okay, now it's going to get good. Okay, well, now they capture the Giants. Now it's going to get good. It's going to pick up okay. any minute. Any minute. Any minute. Like, all right. Oh, no. no. I, it just didn't do it at all. Right, last 15 minutes. Here we go. I felt like I was wasting brain cells. <laughs> wasting uh, it wasn't a great movie, but I, there's, like I said, I had to pick, I had to find elements of that movie that, which made me in, like, like it. Yeah. Exactly. Creative yeah, for the concept. Uh, yeah. Uh, Colors, yeah, I like the color. I like red. It had red in it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, you see, uh, they're in the dream, and, and he's a giant, and uh, no. It definitely gave. I'm, I'm gonna give it a one for sure. That is the worst movie of the year for sure, if not off all time. Yeah. I mean, if I had to rate it, like if I have to give it a star, I guess I have to give it half a star or one star. I will give it. Like I'm not pulling what they do on Amazon and say, yeah, if I had to give this product a, I'll give it zero stars. No, I'll, I, I'll be giving it zero stars. I like I, I would have walked out of the theater. <laughs> it was definitely pretty bad. It's getting um, four for me. Four, four for four, this guy. Four. So right. what about <laughs> Suicide Squad? Oh, another that flop. one was pretty. <laughs> what a flop? You well, know what? It was the good first though. Half it was it was floppy. Okay, it was a little floppy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but I appreciated what they did with a lot of the characters. I just mm-hmm. wish that they would have carried what they did. We saw Magnificent Seven, and I appreciated what they did with that more than they did with Suicide Squad yeah. when they when in, in it, terms of characters it flowed better. It definitely had more of a, yeah. a, a consistency. Right. So Dude, I mean, I liked it. And I, and, and, and I rewatched it, it recently too, and and I enjoyed it a little bit more. But it's still like at that part where. Uh, that one katana chick hops onto the plane. That part just threw me. It's like, what yeah, that just was, happened that was here. It wasn't a perfect movie, but I do agree. That was like, what? Okay. Why yeah, sure. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Anybody else like, out there? Are we there? flying already? <laughs> or I feel like I see sunset in the back, but she just hops on. All right, let's go with it. I guess yeah. that didn't do every character properly. I would agree. But as far as the main characters, I thought it did a really good job. As far as like. This is what they do. Right. Here's the story. Let's go. No, they were like, we pay Will Smith this much. He's going to have this much of the movie. Let's go. <laughs> what do you mean? We got to see a lot of the characters. We saw a lot more of like Will Smith, Harley Quinn. Too much of Joker for some reason. What? I love Joker. I love that uh, rendition of Joker. I, I'm not saying that I didn't like it. I'm just saying it's not a Joker movie. It's a Suicide Squad movie. Yeah, but they weren't sure how. No one even knows. Most people, most people that watched that movie or went to go see it don't know who any of those characters are. They just went because Will Smith was in it. The, so the you reason they don't, something. but they don't know because they didn't tell their story good enough for them to know about it. No, but then, even then, why do I care about them? I don't. I don't care about exactly comic books. I just want to go see an action movie. Yeah, if if you're teaching somebody a character, then write it well. Write their character well and tell me in a story. Well, I have no time for all that. I had time in Magnificent Seven. I know each one of their characters. Boom, let's go. We'll get. We'll do a review on that <laughs> at the end of the year. I don't agree with you, but. Okay, for, to me, I thought they did a good job. Way better than they did in Batman vs. Superman. Yes, agree so, with that. Yeah, I will agree with that. And there definitely. were more pluses than there were minuses. They did sure. it right for me. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7.5. Just because I didn't like the villain. Yeah. Um, I didn't like... Oh, I didn't like either villain. I didn't like the um, the witch. Yeah. What's her name? Enchantress. Enchantress? Yeah. See, no one knows these characters. Yeah. I like the enchantress. She was dancing and talking. So what are you going to do about it? I'm like, why are you using like that? I expect <laughs> somebody on this channel to take that and meme the fuck out of it. <laughs> was it that bad? It was good. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Just rock it, roll it. Just what zoom in on that. What was doing? It was weird. I didn't 
understand. Was like, awesome. Why are you moving? I like liked that? the her character up until the end where she got off. She was like, cool. Eh. I liked it, but I, I, those those elements I definitely. Actually, I liked the movie. Now, I didn't like the reason why they were on the mission. It was because of she let loose or whatever. Right, it was right. a Scooby Doo yeah. factor. It was a Scooby Doo. Right. <laughs> like, who hired him? <laughs> <laughs> it was Red Heron. Right. I'm gonna use that now. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. <laughs> so I mean, we'll start the review with yeah, we got Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah. It's like, was it the person who hired him? Yeah. All right, Scooby Doo. Done. Deal. I mean, I did like it. I, I definitely would have given seven, seven point five. I agree with you on that rating. If I had to give it a rating, I would give it a seven or seven point mm-hmm. five because you know, I, I I actually did like the villain. And I did like what they put with Batman. I did like what they did with the Joker, even though he got a lot of hate for it. I liked it. It was different. And it it, it, it played a part with Harley, this Harley that they gave us. Mm-hmm. They yeah. it, they made sense together, for sure. And then um, I love Diablo. He was like the low-key, yeah. like, Diablo awesome, badass, homie vato loco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I appreciate that. New characters. I like the diversity, except yes. for when they cut off the Indian guy. Native American guy, sorry. No. Um, <laughs> that kind of was messed up. But other than that, I like the diversity. It was either that or he would have been like a Russian uh, KG beast. <laughs> <laughs> what did you give it? Uh, it's going to give it a 7.5 for me. Uh, I did like the movie. I liked the aspects of it. Uh, I think we did discuss this, but the movie literally like felt like two different movies. Yeah. It's like it was just like all this and then shoved down your throat and then like, okay, take the pace. Yeah. But, like, but, I mean, DC, what they're doing <clears throat> is, like, they're getting progressively better. I mean, Batman yeah. versus Superman, not so much this one. Okay, we're getting there. Hopefully, with Justice League, when that comes out, we're like, I'm oh, scared. Yes. I hope that they make that movie so for the actual comic book fans and not just, like, the outsiders looking at it. Because everyone right. who didn't mm-hmm. watch, oh, who doesn't know the storyline of the Batman versus Superman with the whole Doomsday, everyone who didn't know that or read the comic yeah. loved the movie. Right. Everyone who do- that does know the story arc, Hated it. Oh yeah. So yeah. I, I hope that they make it for the comic book right. lovers as well. Yeah. So, yeah. but anyway, I honestly feel with Ben Affleck <laughs> on March, I, he's the one that made Batman vs Superman better. Yeah. And he also added, the additives to Suicide Squad were great as well. Totally. So listen to Benny, guys. Bam. Moving on. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> so Sausage Party, we went to go see it. It was disturbing. Like, it was. It started. I off, liked it. Yeah. Up until like the last twenty minutes. It's so raunchy and it, like well overboard. Now, when you talk about like a movie that goes overboard, you could go overboard in so many different ways. It could be good with like shoot 'em up action. You know, I'm all for that. You go like overboard with like comedic or all. This was just like raunchy on a whole new level, and it was just like uncomfortable. It, yeah, was, it was. It looked. It was like it was designed to be offensive. Yeah. Like we'll we'll get you guys all in with this concept, and then when you're here, we're gonna just offend every single moral that you have. Right. Every single one, you're gonna <laughs> offend it, and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna take it. Right. I and feel, I feel like the guys when they made this movie, they probably just sat around the table. And said exactly what you said. Yeah, I think yeah, so too. Like, that was the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> I think so too. It, it every, everything. It was just. I mean, I don't want to offend anybody because I have my own little moral compass. But to me, they offended a lot of people. And I mean, um, which it, is why I don't think it did so well. I agree with that too. I mean, it's just like there's a point where you could be offensive. I, it's it's hard for me to take offense. I don't give you know. But anyway, uh, it's just. Is this still funny? Like, uh, how long is this scene gonna go for? Yeah. You know, it's just like, yeah. it's like, okay, are we done here? No. Oh, geez. Like, all right, wrap it up, guys. The ending was really bad. The whole sex scene. Like, why are we having orgies right now? Yeah. Like, everyone needs to have an orgy. <laughs> it's like the Twinkie sure and the bottle of thing whiskey, yet. and then like, oh, I don't know what's going yeah, it was on. all over the place. Yeah. I, I, I would probably give it a four out of ten. I mean, at the beginning was interesting. I liked the whole adventure. I liked the whole concept. Right. Them going, you know, having to go to, or thinking that heaven was being bought by humans. Right. And they were going to go to heaven. They were going to be treated so well. And then all of a sudden, they're getting like, eight. Right. Like, the, those, that concept was really good. I did I did like that. Yeah, yeah. But after that, it just was like, why? It why just, are we here? It like was doing good. And I was like, oh, this is funny. This is funny. Psh. Yeah, it just, um, they messed it up, definitely. They had a great opportunity, but I, like I said, I think it was, they had an agenda. Yeah. Uh, we're going to offend everybody. Right. <clears throat> I mean, if I had to give it a rating, I would probably say maybe two stars. I'm, I'm, I'm two out of ten. I'm, I'm not going to watch this movie again. All right. <laughs> TMNT. I was the only one that watched that one, right? Yeah. Ninja Turtles, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in a half shell. 
Turtle power. power. Yeah, that was awesome. We should do it again. Turtle power. <laughs> um, so I will. I'll, I'll try to be as brief as this as possible. Um, I did did a first do a first reaction, but um, they've got a lot of damage control to do. Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. I loved them. Cool. I actually loved them in this movie. I, I, I actually this movie felt like I was watching uh, an old eighties cartoon. So I can't knock it too bad because the moment I put my head in that gear, I started to enjoy the movie. But it didn't happen until halfway through, and I was like, I feel like I'm watching the old cartoon. And immediately, that's when I kicked in the gear. So if you watch a movie with that mentality, you're good. But overall, Michael Bay, you suck. Um, <clears throat> focus more on characters, less on your explosions and your visuals, and we can finally get a good movie. But overall, I'm just laying it out like that way, and I'm going to say, you suck again, because your <laughs> two movies, you screwed it up. But, okay, moving on. <laughs> Uh, so if you have to do the rating, should, should, should I even watch it? Is it good or is it sorry? <laughs> it's horrible. Like I'm, I'm, I grew up with turtles. So the reason why I do what I do now, as far as anything artistic and just writing wise, and so I, I carry a hard, heavy, heavy burden. I haven't missed an opening since I was a child. Wow. And you know, I still didn't do it till this day. And um, it's really hard to sit there and say, yeah, you should go watch this movie. If you're not a fan of the Turtles and you, you don't keep on it like me, go watch it. You might enjoy it. Take your kids. They're definitely going to enjoy it. It's silly. The, it's visually fun. And the ki Turtles, the characters of the Turtles, are, are fun as well. But Bebop and Rocksteady made this movie for me. Their dynamic, who they were, it was so much fun. But the thing is, you got one half fight scene of the Turtles and them. And I'm thinking, like, really? You have all these these characters and you didn't use any of it yeah. you worried more about the visuals and this and that and you gave me a really sucky casey jones and i'm being oh. very negative about this movie and i'm sorry but if you want to watch it watch it but i will definitely not watch the thing again sounds like a what? Movie. really it's four. it's uh, i i wish i would give it more be just because of my turtles yeah but in michael bay's name i give it a point five in a turtle aspect, I will give it three stars specifically because of Whoa. the fact that it's my turtles, and like it's hard to give them any less, like any Whoa. less. Yeah, so uh, passionate, I'm crumbling this. Man. <laughs> yeah. So it's really your fault should, that you have to go through all that. Should you I even watch this movie? It. Yes or no? Uh, no. Nope. No. All right. I'm not gonna watch it. I, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't <laughs> no. seen it yet. I'm not gonna go see yeah. it, but. It was, trailers, it yeah. was important for him to talk about Very it. Very much, so. yeah. Sorry I had to bring it up. He's our consigliere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's our recap. So if you haven't seen these and you're looking, at, you're looking for some movies that you you know should watch, or you want to follow up on, you want to you know go back and watch some movies that you missed out because you were in school, or I guess you weren't in school because it's summertime, but you were studying, or whatever reason why you didn't go see these movies, this is what we thought. So you can go ahead and pick the ones that you like or one that you know sound interesting to you. And definitely go watch it. And let us know if you agree. Maybe you disagree. Some of those movies shouldn't have been on the list or shouldn't have even been talked about or weren't that good. Let us know what you think. Like, subscribe, share us. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm done. Mr. Coach. And we're out. Take care, guys. Peace. Peace. Woo.